This week we had more support for the bow roller and try a dry fit. I hate climbing ladders but in our tips video we share how we made using the ladder easier. With a metal grinding disc the Dremel is brilliant for removing epoxy lumps and getting into tight corners. We followed this with an orbital sander over the whole surface. We're going to try a dry fit. Having sanded everything should fit better than it used to. Um. That's brilliant. So we've just got a piece of FR4 to go under here. It'll rest on that flange. It's just got to have those three bolts, which are for the uh, pulpit, will need to be not on the plate for this, but on the plate along the side deck, because it's angled. Oh, that's great. We're just going to try fitting this under. I think we might just cut that and just have it under the centre and then put the sides bigger. It's going to be quite tight. We might have to cut the foot of the pulpit to fit it in on this side. Or maybe just bend it out a bit. It wasn't going all the way out. Although that will make fitting enough on the other side more difficult. It should be alright. At this point the camera battery ran out so we didn't catch putting the thickened epoxy on the FR4 or fitting it. Here Dave is filling the edges and filleting with thickened epoxy. We taped cardboard guides to stop the epoxy spreading. Another beautiful evening at Beaumaris, seeing the sun set onto the Great Orm, all going calm for the night. And today we have completed the next step in our bow roller fitting. And while we've been doing that, they've added three more boats just next to us there. And so here. You can see we've got the fan heater underneath there at the moment and we have fitted this plate here just underneath to support the back of this. So it's all now the right height to support the bow roller which is smoothed underneath it, sanded it, so that, that now sits beautifully and this is now ready just to be smoothed around the edges of it um, but we're not going to add any more board around here we will just put two little round pads one there and one there 
to support the feet of the pulpit. And then <laughs> this little barrier is warped in the heat. Um, we'll just smooth off that back edge so that then we can put a new lid on our rope locker here and then we'll be able to bolt the bow roller in place. Just, we'll just bed it on some good quality UV stable sealant and that will all be in place. I'll just wander, well here you can see the feet of the pulpit upside down at the moment but these are the feet that we're just going to have a pad just to lift them off the deck a little bit so that they don't ever sit in a puddle. Let's sort out some focus. The holes there you can see it's slightly too low just at the moment so by the time we put the sealant in it'll be perfect for the uh, holes to fit. So that'll be our new bow roller. Absolutely delighted with that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it give us a thumbs up.